So one of the real surprises of day two of the NFL draft was one day old Robinson going relatively early on in the second round, despite the fact that many had sort of a mid third round grade on him. So not the most insane reach we've ever seen. I mean, you know, the Taekwon Thornton pick was right around that spot as well and was, you know, much bigger reach. So that kind of overshadowed the Wandale Robinson pick, but still a, uh, you know, on a surface level, a head scratcher, especially one of the Giants uh, are, you know, they're not lacking in slot receivers for sure. So that's kind of a little bit interesting as to why you made this selection. But one thing that I always do say is you should never let a day two of the NFL draft go by where you don't select at least one a wide receiver or safety. You should always make an effort to do that just because uh, there's it's so consistent that there are good wide receivers and safeties that fall to round two. So select one and see if it works out. Um, and so I think that's kind of what the Giants did. It's just saying, hey, we like this guy. We're going to take him. And watching the film, I do see why they like him. Because again, it's worth mentioning, even if he is a third round selection, the reality is with wide receivers, there really isn't that much difference between a first round graded wide receiver and a third round graded wide receiver in terms of how they actually turn out. So it's not the end of the world to go out and get him uh, later on. But anyways, uh, let's get into the film and talk about uh, what he does well. So for example, something like this, this is kind of, you know, relatively simple route. You have your, uh, I believe that's t a tight end on the inside who's going to be running a deeper route. And then Robinson's just going to run underneath. It's just kind of a way to, you know, get him open underneath. You know, if nothing is open down the field, you throw it to him. It's third and 10. So you probably won't gain a ton of yards, but at least you're moving the ball somewhat. And look, as you see the way this play is working. So, okay, what was downfield is not going to work out. Unfortunately, you might as well, you know, at least try to gain some yards, you know, get, make it a little bit better for field position. It's better than throwing the ball away or throwing an interception. But when the quarterback hits Robinson, look at him do a good job of making a move and nearly picking up the first down. It would have been really great if he got one more yard, but still a great job after having the ball in his hands. So little things like that are things that can work at the NFL level. Being able to make those catches underneath can allow you to pick up more yards after the fact. So that's what I like. And there's stuff like this. He's not just a slot receiver. It should be mentioned. He did have the capability of winning deep in college. Now, slot receivers probably where you know he fits best, but that doesn't mean he has to go there. And this is an example where it's going to be a cover two zone. He is the one who is lined up to the offense's right, so closer to the top of the screen, running the deeper route. And the way this concept works is the other route that I've highlighted on the screen, that's typically going to get the safety who is covering the deep left-hand corner of the screen, which is the offense's left uh, it typically, going to, typically going to get that safety to kind of move in, covering that route over the middle. So then when Robinson runs deep, there could be an opening to make this throw. Watch how right when this play begins, you see how that is working. I mean, the safety moves in, and now at this point, Robinson just has to beat the other safety, but he has an entire half of the field to work with. So a good concept and well ran by you know everyone involved here, because again, that's kind of how this stuff works, right? Is oftentimes with an offense, you'd simply just think about the quarterback and the receiver who catches the ball, but like, no, the other receiver here had to do a good job of getting the safety to move in. This is a team game. You do have to all work together, and that was a good job. And so then when this throw is down the field, you do see Robinson do a great job of being able to get as much separation as possible and even do a good job after the catch of picking up a decent amount of yards there as well. So really good play by Wandale Robinson and again you can see why the Giants like him and clearly the Giants have a bit of a type right Kadarius Tony, I think is a better version of Robinson at least certainly was in college but you know similar skill sets you have something like this where it's going to be man coverage and you have the uh, the number two receiver so you know that's where Robinson is he's the kind of in between two other receivers going to be running a slant route over the middle so does not have a ton of space to be able to operate here also worth mentioning, it's a third down and seven, and third downs are where I think Robinson could really be a key contributor for the Giants. Watch how right when this play begins, you do see that you know the second he cuts in over the middle, he's just able to get so much space. This is not a difficult throw for the quarterback to make. Granted, you have to put it in the right spot because you want to pick up the first down, but still, it's uh, you know, a great job of Robinson giving enough space to where not only does he have a chance to make the catch, but potentially pick up the first down. As you see, when this throw is made, he does pick up the first down and more. He gets into the end zone for a touchdown, somehow absorbs that hit and is able to get in for a touchdown. So even though he's, you know, not the biggest of guys, still able to do some good work there. 
we also have something like this where so it's going to be a jet sweep right here he's going to get the ball and you know run where you see the arrow pointing towards as you see does take the handoff is going to find you know it's well blocked so he's able to get to the second level all this stuff well and good you know fine but you know, well blocked. It's not something that I would consider too impressive, but watch what he can do in open space. It's number one versus number one, safety versus wide receiver. Watch what happens. As you see, Robinson then cuts back over the middle and you see him just have this explosiveness. I'm going to have to pause it for a bit just for copyright reasons. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. But then as you see, it's going to resume and he does get caught from behind, but still gets the ball all the way inside the 10 yard line. So just again, great work in open space. And that's what you're hoping for, for someone like a Robinson is that he can do stuff like that. And quite frankly, he was able to do stuff like that with Kentucky pretty consistently. So I think that he'll, he should be able to do it pretty well for the Giants as well. And then finally, something like this, this is probably the biggest way he'll contribute is just stuff like this, where it's going to be a cover three zone. You have one receiver running a deeper route, and he's going to kind of run underneath. And as you see, this is, you know, a good route by him, good setup, well set up by everyone at Kentucky, and they're able to pick up the first down. That's just kind of, you know, the real reason I think he's getting brought in. It's, he's just a guy who can run his route well, and that's obviously a big deal in football. In fact, that's the main thing you want out of a receiver is someone who can run their route well. So yeah, that's the thing about uh, this pick with Robinson is I think it's fair to say, okay, did you need someone like a Robinson? And I almost wonder if, you know, it seems like a key piece of what the Giants are doing here is just trying to help out Daniel Jones. This entire offseason has been, listen, we have not given this guy a chance whatsoever. We can't waste another year of, is Daniel Jones the guy or not? We have to remove all of the excuses. And you know what? There's an injury concern with some of these wide receivers. So let's get another receiver in the building. The reality is, even if you're a fourth wide receiver, you're going to get playing time. You're going to get snaps. So if you like him, go ahead and get him. You could argue, like, okay, this was a little bit early, and there was some other receivers I still liked on the board that they d avoided, so that stuff I don't love. And the reality is, the history of the NFL shows that when you reach on a guy, again, you know, was about 30 picks ahead of where he was on the consensus big board, typically they end up having the value closer to where they were on the consensus big board than uh, where they actually got drafted. That's what the history of the NFL shows. Reaches tend to be bad calls so this is a reach which isn't great still like the player though you know I, I feel the same way about like Cole Strange who was a huge reach but he's like still a solid player and same thing with Wondell Robinson is was it a reach yeah I think it was a reach is he a good player I also think he's a good player both things can absolutely be true and again it's a position where you really care about it a lot and you should the Giants are one of the teams that have woken up and said hey uh, wide receivers, that's how you win football games, and that's how you win championships, quite frankly, in today's NFL, having a good quarterback and having good wide receivers. That's what, you know, analytics say it, and just, you know, looking back at the past couple of years, those are the teams that are in the Super Bowl, teams with at least good quarterbacks and great receiving cores, so try to make your receiving core great. Now, the issue is they haven't necessarily done that entirely, but to a large degree, so, you know, some of the stuff isn't their fault. Like the Kadarius Tony thing, okay, you know, he was a really hyped up prospect who's been injured. Like you can't really blame him too much and did, you know, he had that one really good game There's and, and showed flashes in other games. You know, uh, Kenny Galladay, people are making fun of that signing, but like no one was making fun of it when they signed him. He was kind of the biggest name uh, free agent wide receiver out there. It felt like, oh, what a great move by the Giants. And he was banged up too. Like, it's hard to fully blame those things. But, you know, getting some insurance here, paying attention to the wide receiver position, it's smart. Maybe not the receiver I would have taken, but I still like Robinson. So that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.